Hi, this is Mr. Vivian here, and today we're going to be testing Hide IP VPN. So I've had the review up on the site for a while, but I'm finally getting around to testing the software. So I've already downloaded it. It's pretty fast. Let's see how long it takes to install. The uh, software they have is just for Windows. It's pretty standard. I think it takes a lot of time to develop a an app for Mac that gets approved. So most VPN services start with a Windows one. Android and iPhone are common as well. Mac apps are pretty hard to find. So you'll have to manually install it if you're on a Mac. And that's it. We're started. So I'll pause the video and get my login information. Okay, we're logged in. So this is a pretty simple but effective VPN software. You can see here this is the package I ordered. This is 14 something, I think 14.95 for a month. And it gets cheaper as you sign up for more time, of course. You got your VPN protocol, three different choices here, PPTP, LTTP, and OpenVPN, the three classics. Then you have your server locations. So these are what you would have to type in manually if you were on a Mac. With the software here on the on Windows, you can just scroll down and choose whatever server you want. So let's start with a US one. And connect. Okay, so I was actually unable to connect to PPTP or L2TP, but OpenVPN was working. So I've sent them a support ticket, and we're going to test how good their support is, how fast and efficient and friendly they are. But we're going to go ahead and test the OpenVPN connection today because they actually only have a three-day money-back guarantee. So I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get back to me and I'm going to be able to test the server in time for me to get a refund because I don't actually need the VPN service. I just want to test it to make the video and show you guys how the software works. So let's get started with OpenVPN. So the connection was pretty fast, about average. Let's go ahead and go to their site and see what kind of packages they offer because they have quite a different setup. Let's go back for a second. You can see here, register for a three hours free trial account. So that's pretty cool. A lot of places don't offer free accounts. Let's see what they actually require. Oh, I'm connected to the VPN, so they're not going to give me a free trial account. But I suspect that they will ask for a bunch of information because actually one of the things I was disappointed in is that when I signed up, I had to give them basically a lot of information about me, where I live, my phone number, my personal email address, and these things. So for a privacy service, that's not great. A lot of services do ask it. It's kind of a security measure for their own purposes. So if people use the service for legal activity, that they can look you up through time logs. It doesn't mean that they log your actual activity or that they keep track of what you do and attach that to your account. So I wouldn't worry about that. But it is kind of you know, disappointing to sign up for a privacy service and have them ask for a lot of personal information. Anyway, 
Here's the different devices they support. Pretty standard here. Actually, I'll have to check this out and see why my PPTP connection is not working. So you can see they have a three-day money-back guarantee, which is pretty good, but a lot of places offer seven days. Then they separate their services into which countries you want to be able to access. Ten bucks for starting is pretty normal. Ninety ninety-nine for a year is kind of expensive compared to other services, especially for what you offer. They do have a P2P BitTorrent VPN, which is really cool. Uh, a lot of people will be into that. And you can get these cheap VPN services here. So five ninety nine for a single month of service is a great price. You can see here that you pay fifty four ninety nine annually. So that would be this five ninety nine price that you're looking at. So that's pretty much on the cheaper end of the scale, but that does mean you only get access to the US VPN. I would say that their most attractive plan here compared to other VPN services would be the P2P BitTorrent VPN because now a lot of VPN services are actually saying that you can't do P2P on their service. So to find a VPN service that says, okay, you can use these servers for P2P and BitTorrent is pretty good. As far as the speed of surfing, you know, it's not super impressive. It's not bad but I can tell that I'm connected to an open VPN. There's a lot of drag. Let's see what my actual connection speed is. Yeah, it's normal. Streaming is not bad, you know, that's not really, it's not as fast as some other services I've tested, but it's working okay. I can see how if your original internet connection was slower, that this open VPN service may slow down your service. I don't mean to be too down on high IP VPN, but it, it is underperforming a bit. So I'll continue the rest of the test and speed test in another video. For now, you can go to mrvpn.com to read some more VPN reviews. Or you can go to mrvpn.com slash hide. What is the URL? There we go. Hide IP VPN review. And that'll give you more details about what they offer and what you can find on their site.